Hi everybody, Joshua here with the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. Today's video will be a piano tutorial for Massive Attack's Black Mountain. So it basically takes place over this F sharp minor, F sharp minor 9 kind of chord, right? And we have some modifications that go over it, but more or less, I'm just going to show you um, some of the line, the melodic lines I pulled out. And then my version was improvised. I did a few takes and kind of like shared the one I liked the best. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of talk about how to improvise over F sharp minor seven uh, for this song and then show you some of the melody and some of the lines and all that. So kind of looking at the very beginning, um, I did this, this, that fifth, right? C sharp, F sharp. And it's just, so kind of like setting the stage because there's a lot going on in the song, right? The, the there's, it's creating this, you know, this feeling, this emotion. It's creating this like environment almost of like, like mysterious kind of sound, right? So I'm trying to like kind of paint the same picture on the piano, right? So we have those that open fifth kind of sound. I, again, I'm, I, you know, you can like create some of these chord voicings. If you just look at the basic F sharp minor, add the seventh in there, and I know these are really like square, kind of like boring voicings, but let's, let's, let's just look at the basic notes here. Add the ninth, ninth in there. Eh, maybe that's a little bit too pretty getting the eleventh in there, but then we can start to crunch some of these together, right? You know, to make, you know, to like, you know, putting that in there. I mean, the melody's gonna use that note as well later on. We'll talk about that. But anyway, so the idea being to kind of set the stage for this this kind of like mysterious sound, right? So one of the things I pulled out um, was the bass line. Right, so that, that's at the beginning. And that's also going over top of that. I think one of the things I did is I kind of doubled that bass line with both my hands. Right, and then, and then through all this, I'm like trying to hold or have, have this resonance of F sharp minor kind of going in the background. And there's different ways, you know, you can kind of roll the chords, you can, you know, do some of these kind of like patterns, kind of like fill up the space, you know. So do, doing some like different things, experimenting with like different chords, like hitting the chord, letting it resonate, you know. Some of these ideas like jumping around with, with um, inversions of the chord of the F sharp minor. So, I have that. Right, this little bass line. Now there's also a, another melody I kind of picked up. You know, it's kind of like that upper upper octave piano kind of sound. You know, kind of like pulling some of those notes out. And then also the, right? So there's also that melody. You know, if you hold the pedal down, it changes the way it feels. It makes it a little bit less dry with the with the reverberation of the notes. Um, there's also a bass line that's like kind of jumping around, outlining that F sharp minor chord. So those are some of the melodies I pulled out. And then from that, let's see here. Let me put the melody, uh, the the vocal melody, over at the top. So we have. So we're kind of playing around with this. And kind of these notes around the F sharp minor scale, more or less, right? So, and then the melody changes, adds that D sharp in there. And then it's a tritone, right? That's kind of hard to sing. Right, so the melody is, is going to between those two kind of like melody lines in the, in the verses. Um, so then I think the difficulty in this is is coming up with ways to improvise over the chords, uh, or the chords over the chord um, without becoming too stale, right? Um, so like letting it grow and fade. So one of the ways I think is like is like trying to start simple. So I'm keeping my notes, like maybe it's kind of like eighth notes, kind of keeping a simple pace. And then as I go on, I want to build it, you know, so then I can start doing some of those rolling kind of things.
So I know it's easier said than done. I'm just trying to like fill out the chords, right? And just kind of like. Kind of like letting my inner voices do whatever they want to do and then drawing out the melody on top. Yeah, so some of those techniques, um, which I don't remember exactly all that I did. It, again, it was improvised, but. You know, some of those clashing notes together. Experiment with some of those sounds. Um, It's actually, I don't mean this as an excuse, like an artist blaming their tools, but um, <laughs> I, I don't get a whole lot of emotion out of the keyboard and the sound of the keyboard. It's really helpful for me to be at an acoustic piano and have all the uh, the resonance of, of, the, of the, the acoustic instrument kind of like feeding back at me and giving me some ideas. So um, I hope this gives you something to go off of at least. Um, check out my version on the piano. There's also a synthesia, like a MIDI version, just so you can kind of see some of the notes and the voicings I'm using maybe. Um, any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll get back to you. I think it was Tim, a patron that requested this song. So thank you, Tim. It was a really good challenge to like come up with different ways to create this song on the piano and pull out some of those melodies and kind of have fun with it. It's a really cool, like uh, mysterious sounding piece. So thank you to the request. Big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel, giving me requests and having me you know, try to figure out songs and figure out how to share them with you and then like how to break them down. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. It's a, it's a good challenge for me. And you're also helping the channel keep going. So <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you to everyone else for commenting and watching. And I will catch you next time. <laughs>